Hello YouTube, today I will show you how to create your first Android application using Eclipse. You guys should already um, have Android installed on your computer. Just close all this. Intro, uh, as the SDK installed for Eclipse, because Eclipse, in my opinion, is the easiest one to use to develop Android. Okay, so once you have all that set up, I will try to post, post a video on how to do that. But once you have the SDK set up on your system, depends, Macintosh, Windows, Linux, the same uh, application. So it should be pretty self-explanatory in all these other operating systems. So, so now click on File, click on New, and click on Project. If you have successfully installed the Android SDK, under Android, the folder, you should have Android Project. Hit on Next. Project name. Hello world, one word, okay, and select Android 2.3. You don't have to, but you can select whichever, which, which other version you want as the starting point. So that, yeah, Android 2.3 application name now can that can have spaces. So let's put hello world exclamation point package name com dot your name dot Hello world. You can put that however you want. Always has to do, go with com. Your name, you can literally just put your name and at the end, hello world, because you know the application. Your creativity, again, hello world. One word in minimum SDK version, just put two. Or you want to see that link? I don't know what that. Here, I'll finish. Should now have this. And head over to layout and main xml double click and you should get this open yeah, all this stuff is pretty much kind of the equivalent of interface builder for um um iphone os ios so you have all the stuff you can have camera image button that kind of stuff so in this case we are going to add hello world we already have that so let's just change this to hello world i guess so we're here then you should have something like this. Hello world. So now that's all, pretty much all you need to do. Edit the XML file. You could do it manually here. I mean, not manually, but with this, but through code, it seems easier. Have them there. Doesn't matter. We should have that fixed. Let's see. And uh, once you're done, you can kind of add more stuff here. I'm not sure how to really honestly use this because I'm still learning how to use um, Android. This is the first video, the first time I ever created a project. But um, for myself, it's explanatory. Had to add the hello world text. So once you're done, click on the little play, green play. Make sure it's set to Android application and click yes. And of course it contains errors let's see what errors are maybe I don't know yeah for some reason yeah that's the problem and sorry about the exclamation point apparently it counts at Add some kind of an error, click play, and the Android simulator or emulator will load up on Gingerbread because you assigned that in the simulator like setting. So, so then the little Android logo will flash you know, with a little bit of like silver metallic effect. But after a couple seconds, it should enter regular Android OS. The bottom here on the console, it'll tell you all the stuff it's doing. It's installing right now the application Hello World at APK. Quality Android simulator boots. You can enjoy all the little flash and stuff like that. So there we go, it's on there. Android 2.3. A little slide to unlock Unity. And once it's done installing, it's a lot slower than a regular iPhone apps. It's full of it, and there you go. Hello world, hello world, hello world. That's a nail like my oh, not yet, so click. So there is how to launch Hello World on Android. See my screen size that. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. So thanks for watching the video. Maybe get a little more detail in the future videos explaining in detail how to add like buttons and animations and graphics to um, uh, simple applications. Of course, I'm still learning myself. It's actually the first time I even installed the SDK. The first time I actually um, tried doing this. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, have a nice day.